As someone who no longer personally owns an iPad, it was great to finally get back into the tablet game with the adoption of a Nexus 9 from Google. I know some of you probably think that I've lost it as of late or I'm simply pulling a classic Jeff move, but hear me out. After adopting the iPhone 6 Plus, I felt that there was simply too much overlap between it and my 7.9 inch iPad mini. The difference in screen size between those two devices while still technically large just wasn't enough for me to justify carrying them both around. And with the recent release of the Android M developer preview, I wanted a tablet that I could use to test out Google's latest OS update. And here's what I chose. Here are five things I like about the Nexus 9 and five things that I dislike about the Nexus 9. Tune in, let me know what you think. Good the front facing speakers. Now this device is made by HTC, the same company that made the HTC One M9 and that had absolutely fantastic speakers. So it's no surprise that this device has great speakers as well. Now sadly, they just couldn't stop there, but they had to adopt another feature of the HTC One M9, and this one isn't a good feature, it's the buttons. The button quality is just really bad. They're, they feel flimsy, they're too close together, they're easy to confuse with one another, and yeah, they just aren't very good. Good. Okay, Google, I download blog, import iPhoto library to photos app. Android devices feature Google's awesome voice recognition and this obviously is very beneficial on a tablet where you're searching for and consuming lots of content. It's just stunning how accurate it is. Bad lack of responsiveness. Now the Nexus 9 is an odd character when it comes to responsiveness. It's pure Google, so you can't blame its deficiencies on bloatware or skins. It can play games without hiccups. It's very smooth, but sometimes it stumbles when launching apps and sometimes becomes downright unresponsive with taps on the screen. I also found that switching between portrait and landscape mode is very laggy at times. Good. Form factor. I carry around a 5.5 inch phone, so I feel like the iPad mini's 8 inch screen isn't enough and the Nexus 9's 9 inch screen is like the sweet spot. I really dig this form factor. Bad. Plastic back. The back cover feels flimsy and takes away from the device's otherwise premium build. Disappointing. Good. Screen resolution and quality. The Nexus 9 features a 2048 by 1536 display, which coincidentally is the same resolution of the iPad Air 2. And given the fact that the Nexus 9 has a smaller screen footprint than Apple's latest tablet, then you have a recipe for higher pixel density on the Nexus 9. But pixel density doesn't always tell the whole story. Here, the screen is bright, vivid, and has really good viewing angles. That said, I did notice a little backlight bleed on dark screens. Bad. Density. The Nexus 9 will cause some hand and wrist fatigue when holding it for long periods of time with one hand. It's thicker than the iPad Air 2 and although it weighs less than the Air, it's in a more compact body which could heighten the feeling of fatigue. Good. No bloatware. The great thing about Nexus devices, one of their hallmark features, is that they are pure Google and come with no bloatware like other devices from Android OEMs. If you're interested in Android, then this is hands down the best way to experience the platform, and it means you get early access to developer previews like Android M. Bad. Camera. Again, the subpar camera quality is of no surprise, being that this is HTC hardware we're dealing with. Historically speaking, HTC has whiffed on camera quality and it's the same deal here. Low light photography is basically not an option. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been my overview of the Nexus 9 from HTC and Google. This is a really good tablet. I really like it and you know, I'm probably gonna use it for the foreseeable future. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.